Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be doing a sort out slash declutter of my makeup. Um, it's mainly like a sort out, just basically putting everything away that's like out of my desk and just reorganising a little bit. Not properly, just sort of, yeah, just sorting it out, decluttering and a few things. It's not like a proper like makeup collection declutter, so don't expect that. You will kind of see a thing that's in my makeup collection. If you do want like a full makeup collection, I did one back in like may or june which i will leave up here so you can go and watch that if you haven't done so already and you enjoy this video please be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any further videos from me and let's just get on with that so down here i just have a box of makeup that i basically wear daily then i also have this which is my bag of advent calendar makeup we'll start with this drawer obviously so this is my powders and my bronzer drawer because i think i'm going to put back the things i have so i can see what i've got and then take out anything i don't want so we've got my revolution pro translucent breast powder we have this by terry powder which i have to put in the front because it's too big and then i've got a broken stain mat which i basically only keep in because to remind myself to get a new one basically hula um revolution pro bronzer sculpting bronzer i do have another stain mat over here um this one's just like peach glow so it's way too pink so i'm gonna get rid of that this i just can't bear to get rid of because i love it but like I've used it all. I love this bronzer. I really should get myself a new one. I actually, this is medium deep. I think this is like the um, old packaging now. I think the new packaging is not as bulky. But I just, it's sort of like a reminder because I'll forget to buy it if I don't keep the packaging. So I am only keeping it for that reason, same with the stain mat. I will use these three the most. This one will go to, it's the Kiko one. By the way, I'm not going to go through a thinking detail because I've literally done a makeup collection with all of this stuff laid out exactly like this. Now, the one thing I never ever use is this Rimmel Lasting Finish Powder. Um, I don't know if it's to keep it or not. I normally, if I have the two, I'll go for the L'Oreal. So I won't use that. And this I'm just never going to use. It's a Max Factor loose powder, but I'm just never going to use that. And then for these, I just kind of want to keep these because I haven't really got a chance to like use them all properly um because we've been in lockdown i literally haven't like been doing my makeup and literally this last week i decided i'm gonna start doing my makeup again every morning and i want to get into the habit of like getting it out and then putting it back so that means every day i'll use a different product this one i don't tend to use but like it's quite a nice color so i think i will keep that soap and glory again i think this is quite good if i don't have any tan ones i think i'm gonna get rid of this i'm just never gonna use it it's the l'oreal glam bronze cushion de soleil bronzer and it's a it's like a cushion bronzer and i have this as a foundation but i just don't think i'm ever going to use the bronzer one let's be real it just seems really messy give myself some, the things for alex draws is there's like there's so much room back here there's like four compartments i could put makeup products in but it's just hard to get them out. So this drawer is blush, highlighter, and then some revolution testers. So for blushes, again, I just don't really use a lot of these, but like, I'm going to keep them. See, these ones, like, I should use more because they're really, really, really pretty. They just kind of scare me. I've got my two sleep ones. I do have this one. <laughs> I don't know where to put now. Um, what? They did go here, and I've got this pixie one. I think I'm gonna get rid of this. I honestly never use it. I don't like the fact it's got this color. If this color was similar to these, I would use it, but I'm more of a pink blush girl. And it, I know it's handy to have like a more like orangey, but this one's more orangey, so I'm gonna get rid of this. Then yeah, that's new, that's new. And obviously Coralista, which I haven't used in years, but I used to love this. There's not really any I want to get rid of because I've got like Urban Decay, NARS, NYX. Yeah, I like all these, I like all these. Yeah, I literally like all of my highlighters i'm literally not gonna get rid of any of them and then for these it's like i don't use them but i don't have anything else to put here and i just haven't reached for them but i should so i'm gonna leave them investigate them a little bit and then come back to them and if i don't use them i'll get rid of them this drawer is like kind of annoying to me now you may be wondering why there's like a massive gap here i don't know if you can see it i used to have loads of these and i realized i was not going to use them so i cut down to six and what I originally had in this gap was, I'll show you, these Barry M High Viz. But something I learned, I don't know if you, you might not be able to see it, but there's basically like an orange splash patch. Because the orange one, or the red one, I think, no, it was this one, they'd never been opened. And I had it like, I had them all like this. They had all gone watery, like, 
they just had a layer of like liquid on top so I got concerned about them being laid sideways and you can't I can't put them in this way so for this show I have my pigments on I like it like vertically which is kind of why I don't want to change it that much I have my pigments this way and then I have single eyeshadows all along here and then I have my colour pop and then I have my like eyeshadow pots, like cream eyeshadows. So what is handy is I have this gap now. Now I know over here it might seem weird because I have like my colour pop ones at the front and then like my other cream eyeshadow base at the behind. But it's because I want to use the colour pop ones, which is why I didn't do like a row of colour pop and then a row of the other ones, because I want to try and use these ones more than the back ones. In my MAC advent calendar, I've got a lot of single eyeshadows which I'm gonna be put in along this section. But I'm actually gonna move this MAC eyeshadow to here because these are all MAC. I'm sorry if the angles change at all, it's because the camera keeps falling over. I'm going to try and do it like lightest to darkest, so this is going to be kind of further back. If you want to see what I've got on my advent calendars, I did an unboxing video. You can go and watch that if you would like. Oh look how perfect that is. And then I'm just going to put this number 7 um, glitter. Technically it should go over here, but I have two glitters down here, so I'm just going to put that where the MAC one originally was. Ew, it's literally filled out perfectly now. That's so good. I think actually what I'm going to do is I have two tiny burr glitters and then I've got two Makeup Revolution. Like, they're, they're not really bases. They're kind of good. They're nicer on top of eyeshadows. But because they're also black, the same as the MAC ones, I'm going to put them here. Then I have three glitters along the bottom, which is, it works quite well. This draw, on the other hand, I feel like there's a couple of bits I want to get rid of. First of all being these eyeliners that I've got. I'm actually going to order the brown one, so I'm going to get rid of this brown one. This is so old. And this one, a lot of these aren't really that old apart from those. Mascara wise, I think I might have done like a sort through and through in my old mascaras. So they don't really need to be touched. Got a new eyebrow pencil. Okay, this is, this is going to go because I'm certain this is finished. Um, that's going to go isn't done but it's it's quite handy to keep because it has the definer still and it still has the highlighter shade even though it's got fluff on it so i'm going to keep it for them reasons oh this can go this is an old mascara now i love this eyeliner i've been using it but i have to say it's it gets a bit funny i don't know my eyebrow setter thing okay we have a eyeliner got another eyeliner so they're both black we have some of my benefit minis and we also have a blush and highlighter a brow pencil which i keep as my backup because it does work decently enough that if i've run out it, it's thin enough that i like it i'm going to assume this is a run out eyebrow pencil yeah we have a revolution eyebrow this is handy as well just as a backup eyeliner from Revolution, and then we have another. I think this is an ash brown, though. So this one's not actually run out. It's too light for me, but again, it's quite handy because it's a lighter shade. Okay, I think there might be some eye stuff in my little bag, so I'm going to check. Okay, we've got a brow setter and then a mascara. I'm assuming that's going to be everything in here. Now we're going into my lipstick drawer. So this is my lipstick drawer. So this is done in order of brands. So I've got Revlon, Make Revolution, Rimmel. Uh, Maybelline, Max Factor, some Topshop, and MAC. So, we're going to have to organise because i got a few more MAC ones for Christmas. I'm now deciding how to do this because I've already got these and I've also got some now. I've got quite a few minis and another big one. So I'm debating whether I do like... Let's see how many I've got because I could put the minis at the back or bring the minis forward. Or, if I move the MAC ones back over to this side because I don't know if you can tell but this one's higher than this one because this this is the only i've got three 24 ones and a 12 one but the 12 one's like angled slightly so I, i've got a number seven one which i'm just gonna stick over here for the moment then i've got one normal sized mac one and five minis i kind of just want to move everything along and then put my mac ones over here if that makes sense i think i want to move this section over first because i don't really want i like i would want these ones closer to me but I know I've got them in like a decent order currently because I organise these in a certain way. We can do a move bar after. Okay. And then I'm going to move everything over. I might move it around again, but I just want to leave it like this for the moment just to get an idea of where I've got everything. Right. 
not that London's right. <laughs> Wait, how have I messed this up? I'm so confused. So I have a little gap now, which I didn't really want, because I've put more at the back. So I think I might move the ones that are at the back forward. So like some of them. So like these two, this one. No, it literally fits in none, so it's gonna have to go over here. This one also doesn't fit in anything, so it's gonna have to go over here with this little friend. Let's put these mini ones in first, in colour order. One matte, which is like really red. And then we've got two satins, which I'm gonna put together. And then two amplified creams, so I, I wanna know. They're not in order of colour, they're in order of type. Actually, if I put the satins first, then they are in order of colour as well. And then we have six mattes. Okay, now we're on to like a not as fun. Oh no. Now we are onto my liquid lipstick drawer, which is, this is the one that's going to be painful. I may have to move some up, the small mini ones, up to this drawer and put them, maybe move some of the stuff back here and put them in the back because I have this situation happening. Okay, I've got quite a few things that need to go in here. Now, anything full size is 100% going in this drawer. I basically, if you can't tell, I have three lip, lip gloss holders and then I have a lipstick holder down here because for the mini stuff. So these are the four that I got for my MAC Advent Calendar. Why do I feel like there's one missing? But I know there isn't, but that's weird. Because they are so thin, I'm going to put them... How tall would they be on one of these? You see, it's really annoying when they're just a little bit... Only just come over. But they're also so thin that I think in a normal lipstick one, they're just going to look stupid. Oh, actually, I'd probably put all f mm, I don't know if I could fit all four in. Where am I? But what section of my actual lip glosses, lip glosses? So this is basically my order is like lip crayons, lip glosses, and then some like satins and glitters. So these are my lip glosses. Um, this is meant to, there's quite a few that are meant to go in here to be honest with you. These aren't actually lip glosses, these are sheer lip, which is like a liquid lipstick, but it's a gloss look. I always write my videos, but it's really pigmented, which is why I put them here. Honestly, I don't really wear this. I just realised I didn't get rid of any of the lipsticks in this drawer. I'll come back to it. I'm going to get rid of this. Moving these back. And I'm going to, can I fit all four in one? Yes, I can. That is perfect. I really don't want to get rid of much because I really want to try and use a lot of it. And I feel like this drawer is the stuff that gets used the least. With this drawer, it's the same sort of thing. I haven't really, being completely honest, I don't feel like I've had the chance to really try out everything in this drawer because the, I haven't worn makeup since like March, apart from for videos. And I'm trying to get back into wearing it consistently. So, oh, I can throw away these actually. Oh, so lips in my section, I just literally can't get rid of anything. I'm also going to get rid of all of these Calvin Klein lipsticks because I don't even think they're real and I just don't reach for them ever. I've had them since I was like 13. Honestly, they're just they're so pointless to have in here. Everything else I want to try and use. Because I have a ton of these liquid lipsticks from Revolution, which are all over the place. You, I think this section's fine because most of the stuff that has to go in here now is small, which is where I'm having the issue because I haven't got much small section. Over here, I just have a little pot of like... All these little NYX minis, which I do have two here that need to go back in there. I quite liked this because they're just so tiny, it feels like a waste of it anywhere else. And actually, when you have them all in there, they actually fit really nicely in there and stand up quite nicely. So now for this section, I think I have room now that I've taken that stuff out. I'm going to get everything out that isn't those Makeup Revolution things. My only thing with these is there's no way of seeing the cut. Okay, that was a bad example. Let me get this red one. There's like, apart from sideways, there's no way of seeing the colour at the top and the bottom, which I can't even describe to you how annoying that is. I think I might, you know that thing people do when they like dab, like with nail polishes, they'll dab it onto a, or with lipsticks, they'll dab it onto a piece of paper and stick it on the bottom. I might do that with these because these are matte so it will dry and I never ever ever reach for them just because I can't see the colour. It's so annoying. I'm At the moment I'm just going to put them in, in whatever order because I'm not right now going to go through and do the little dots and stuff but I am going to do that and, I'll, and then I'll turn them upside down. But I like the pro part, it just, it's not the most convenient, like realistically you need them laying so you can steal the colours but Oh, I think I have actually nearly enough put these in in colour order. 
apart from this red one I've just pulled out and not put back. Oh, that was annoying. And then I have these two MAC ones, which I want to put down here, I think, at the front. Then I have these two number seven lip glazes, which I'm going to put next to here because they're similar shape. And then I have, we'll do these two because I've got two, and I've got a Nars and a Bourgeois, but they both are also square. Four matte mees, which are from Revolution, which are going to go along here. Oh, these need to be upside down. And then we have two spaces left. And I have three of these Tony Bear lips. I think I'm going to get rid of the pink one because realistically I'm just never going to use that. But I'll keep the two reds because it's always handy to have a red. Okay, that actually worked out quite well. Then also in here I have my lip prep and prime which is going to go in my lip liner thing. And I've also got a red lip liner so they're going to both go in there. I'm just going to put away the strobe cream. Um, you can't really see it, it's in my eye drawer. And this is a lip gloss which I'm going to stick in this little section. So with this, like... I feel like I know everything that's like in here. I'm literally just putting stuff away more so. I have my primer and I've also got a new one, which they go at the back. The sealer's like, most of it's like not empty, so I'm just gonna keep them all. I feel like I went through them. I kind of got rid of the ones that were, actually that's empty. That Bare Minerals one. All the others aren't, that's the thing. And like, they're all okay. So my two L'Oreal ones, two Revolution foundations. There is a foundation missing, where's it gone? Then I've got these two, which are like compact foundations. And I also have a Maybelline foundation. Um, I think that's everything for this drawer. Oh, I also have this little mini Fix Plus. So I'm literally just gonna put this in this middle drawer, which is just like BB creams and stuff. This is my eyeshadow palette drawer. I don't, literally don't know how to show you this now because we're, we're literally so low on this tripod. Cause I know you can't really, see this drawer very well i've got some palettes in here i want to fit in here because i currently have loads of palettes in my desk drawer which i'm not gonna lie i don't mind if they don't fit like this one i actually don't think like that's a squeeze so that's not going in my soft glam palette is going in here i have my four naked palettes so we have a palette which i'm keeping this is a little Three little sneak palettes which i actually really like and i don't want to get rid of because they're really handy aren't they for like traveling i also have this new number seven one which i'm going to keep as well then i have like this which i just don't think i'm ever going to use now so i'm just going to get rid of it when i say get rid of by the way this is probably all going to go to like a cousin or something i have a few palettes i want to fit in here but honestly i don't know how to do this i think something i was thinking i might have to do is actually Take out a divider and fit like, and put three palettes in one, like my three, like Anastasia palettes in one, just because I'm literally running out of room otherwise. And the same with the naked ones, I think I could do the same actually at the front here. Take out this first divider, just because there's just a bit too many palettes that it's um, appearing to become a bit tricky at this point. Then I could move this forward and this forward. This is just gonna work. Two faced palette. Then we've got this gold crush palette. Then we've got my colour book palette, which doesn't fit with anything, but there's a whole section back here now. Again, I might have to take out this divider to fit the colour book and gold brush in. I'd like to fit this in somewhere, but I don't know if it's gonna go together. Oh yeah, there we go. This can go behind all of these. If anyone has these sort of dividers, definitely just like, they're very handy because they keep palettes up. It kind of gives you some room, I'm liking this. I could do with doing that behind here, to be fair. Because when you get to the back, it's so hard to get palettes out, I can't even lie. If I take a divider out, definitely got more room back here now. Well, these I literally don't really care about, but they're just like, for memory's sake, I don't want to get rid of them. That looks a hundred times better. I can't even explain to you like that. And they all fit. Now the last drawer, you're probably not really going to be able to see, to be honest. It's used like the mess around me. I don't think there's anything to actually go in this drawer, apart from this. Um, number seven thing. 
Um, I don't even want to get, get rid of anything in here either because I want to like test everything out and start using everything a bit more. So this is going to be left as it is. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please sure to subscribe, like and comment. Let me know any ideas you have down below and I will see you in my next video.